Hey y'all, it's Sunday evening. It's, oh, this thing's pretty close right there. Let's get back here a little bit. Hey y'all, it's Sunday evening. It's time for our capsule sermon. And uh, we're getting ready for our fall festival tonight. I was out here in my leather shop working on part of my costume, so to speak. Uh, the kids all come out and play carnival games and we have a good time and go on a hayride and I got to thinking as I was getting ready for this you know at this time of year you know everybody's dressing up as some kind of little you know cartoon character or something they like for Halloween and it got me to thinking about how a lot of times in life we try to hide things from people we try to mask it or cover it up but we can't hide anything from God guys I mean we may put on a smiling face and want people to think we're happy and joyful when we may not be or we may um, you know, act like everything's okay going on in our, in our business or in our lives when there's really lots of trouble going on, but we can't hide things from God. If you look with me in Hebrews chapter four, verses 12 and 13, I want to read it to you. This is what it says. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. So guys, we're going to answer to God one of these days, either when we, when we die and go to heaven or when the rapture happens. And guys, when, when we stand before God, he, he's going to know everything that happens in our hearts and our minds and our souls. So don't hide from him and don't think you can hide from him, guys. If you're hurting, if you're in need, reach out to God, cry out to him and ask him for help. If uh, if you know you're sinning and you're doing things wrong in the, in the sight of God, he knows it too. You're not hiding it from him. So, so give it to him. Take that burden off of yourself and give it to God. Remember, guys, that Christ died on the cross to pay for our sins, all of our sins, past, present, and future. And... Just, just remember that, guys, that there's nothing that you can't overcome without God's help. Um, I love you. God bless you. And keep praying.